Hi everyone, my name is Marcus and you're watching the ReefNerd YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my calcium reactor and how I have it now connected to the cloud. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you might know that I run quite a few of Pacific Sun's products on my tank. I run the Core 7 with their KH Lab. That's a seven channel dosing pump uh, that's cloud connected with an alkalinity testing apparatus connected to it. So the idea being that it's able to, with a single unit, test your alkalinity and then use that information to control automatically the dosing on up to four additional channels because three are used for the alkalinity testing. So that means uh, when the alkalinity is tested, the amount of calcium, magnesium and alkalinity, if you dose all three in equal parts, can be adjusted according to the results of the alkalinity test. However, there's more to the Pacific Sun ecosystem than just the Core 7 and the KH Lab. They also do a full line of calcium reactors. And that's actually the calcium reactor that I run on my tank. A big reason why I chose that calcium reactor from Pacific Sun is just the simplicity of it. Most calcium re reactors on the market, or at least the older ones, require you to buy separately, uh, not just a calcium reactor and a regulator, but also a dosing pump, a pH probe, a pH controller, and sometimes lots of adapters and paraphernalia that needs to sit in between all of that. Pacific Sun calcium reactor is really simple in that it comes with a controller. They call this the Calc Theta Pro. This controller is a touch screen, a dosing pump, and a sensor all in one. Now it's not a pH probe, it's an optical sensor, and it's designed to work with the calcium reactors from Pacific Sun. And the idea being that it measures the amount of CO2 in the reactor and controls a solenoid, which is also included, for your CO2 bottle uh, accordingly. So it works much in the same way of using a pH probe to determine whether to turn on or off a solenoid for the CO2 into the reactor, except it uses an optical sensor instead. This has the advantage of not needing to be regularly calibrated and replaced like, say, a pH probe would need to be. However, up until now, there's been one key thing missing from the Pacific Sun Calcium Reactor and Calc Theta Pro controller lineup, and that is that the controller hasn't been able to directly interface or talk with the Core 7 and its KH Lab alkalinity testing, meaning that to adjust the dose rate on the calcium reactor, whilst extremely easy, it's just a touch screen with an up and a down arrow for the most part, it is still manual. That is until now. The Calc Theta Pro has got a new upgrade, they're calling it the version 3, and this upgrade module connects the Calc Theta Pro to Wi-Fi and allows it to connect to the Pacific Sun Cloud. Therefore, just like I explained earlier where the KH Lab is able to control the Core 7's additional dosing pumps and the amount uh, that you may be dosing through those, it's also now able to control the Pacific Sun Calcium Reactor through a Wi-Fi enabled Calc Theta Pro. So, to give you an example, if I have my alkalinity set point at 8 dKH and a KH lab uh, test runs and measures 7.8, it might increase the dose of effluent through the calcium reactor by a small amount. Similarly, if it tests 8.5 and I've still had that set point of 8, it would be able to reduce the effluent flow through the calcium reactor by a small amount automatically. And this can occur as frequently as you do alkalinity tests. I currently have mine set to test every two hours, that's 12 times a day. The dosing pump built into the Calc Theta Pro is an extremely high quality, heavy duty peristaltic dosing pump. It's designed for continuous duty, that means it can run 24 seven, and it's very, very quiet, which is very important for something that's always running. You have really granular control with the Calc Theta Pro, so those adjustments that are done through the cloud according to my alkalinity testing are done in 1% increments. Ultimately what this means is you can get really stable control out of a calcium reactor that will adjust uh, on a very regular basis according to your tank's demands and even the daily cycles of al alkalinity consumption. Where this also really excels is because the entire service is cloud enabled, you can access it on your phone, you can access it on your computer, it's all done through a website. There's also push notifications that can be set up so you can get notifications of your tank's temperature, pH and alkalinity every time a test is run. You can also check on the speed of your calcium reactor at any point in time from anywhere as long as you have your phone in your pocket. 
This Wi-Fi upgrade, which I mentioned before, is now the version 3 of their CalcFeeder Pro controller, is an upgrade for existing owners. But if you don't currently have a calcium reactor and you're thinking about buying the Pacific Sun one, all new CalcFeeder Pros will come as the version 3 out of the box. The upgrade is really simple. You get sent a unit similar to this, which looks like your existing CalcFeeder Pro just without the pump. And it's as simple as removing two screws from the back and then a couple more screws that hold the pump in place and just swapping out the pump into the new unit that they sent you. The pump is connected to the unit with a single cable. So as long as you feel comfortable with a Phillips head screwdriver and about six screws and unplugging and replugging in one cable, it's a very simple upgrade. The new unit also has a really big Wi-Fi antenna on it, so you can get good reception even if it's inside a fish tank cabinet like it is with mine. I've had no problems at all and my Wi-Fi router is on the other end of the house. The setup process from there was really simple. The setup process after swapping out the pump and those few screws was really, really simple. Initially, upon powering it on, the unit will be broadcasting its own Wi-Fi network. You join that, the password to join that is on a sticker on the back of the unit, and then you're brought to a screen where you simply select from a list your Wi-Fi network, put in the password, and press save. The unit will then restart, you rejoin your own Wi-Fi network, and you can go to its IP address, and you can access its interface on your own Wi-Fi. Once you've done that, you simply put in your login details to your Pacific Sun Cloud account, and the connection is made. Your, your calcium reactor is now on the cloud, and if you have other Pacific Sun products that are also on the cloud, they're all able to talk to each other. You can then set what rules you want, where the tolerances lie. So for me, I have a 0.5 DKH tolerance, meaning that it allows my DKH to be between 8 and 8.5. Anything outside of that, it will increase or decrease the speed accordingly on the calcium reactor. That's just how I have mine set, and that's based off doing an alkalinity test every two hours. If you're testing more frequently or less frequently, you can play with those tolerances, maybe tighten them up or loosen them according to your preferences. It really is fully customizable to how you want the alkalinity control to work with your calcium reactor. So while I've only been running the Wi-Fi upgrade for a couple of weeks now, it has been really great. It works exactly as you would expect and the rules are super easy and simple to set up and understand. In terms of the unit itself, I've been running the calcium reactor and the version 2 of the controller for almost a year now, and I'm really, really happy with the unit. It's so stable, it's so rock solid, and I much prefer it over the old traditional two or three part dosing regimes that I used to do, uh, where you're constantly mixing up chemicals uh, and constantly refilling dosing containers. Whilst the outlay on a piece of equipment like a calcium reactor can be quite high, the ongoing costs are certainly something that cannot be questioned and I've only just now replaced my first bottle of CO2 so it's lasted me over nine months and it was a $30 replacement on the bottle. Can't argue with that. I've spoken to the guys at Pacific Sun and big thanks to them for letting me have early access to the cloud upgrade for the Calc Feeder Pro. Uh, they're going to be releasing that very soon. I believe in the next week or two it will be available. and. The upgrade process, as I described earlier, is really simple. If you're an existing owner or if you're a new owner, simply buying a calc feeder will come as version 3 from now on. I hope you found this video helpful. If you've got any questions about the calc feeder pro, the Wi-Fi upgrade, or P Pacific Sun's calcium reactors in general, please post them below in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. My name is Marcus and you've been watching the Brief Nerd YouTube channel. Bye for now.